So in your recent past, we start with the high priestess. Now the high priest, now the high priestess is a very spiritual card, often with sexual overtones. It can mean that you are in a phase where you are going to be much more physically attractive to others. The high priestess is tied to the moon, femininity, femininity if you're a female, and to inspiration. This is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It also, it's also important that you pay very attention to your dreams right now. Keeping a dream diary or journal would be a very good idea. And we have this card paired with the Seven of Cups. Okay, so the Seven of Cups is a card about choices, all right? It often indicates confusion and can even also point to disorganization and you may be having too much going on. In general, this card points to a need to narrow your focus. When this card appears, you are probably trying to do too, way, way too much, okay? And doing most of it not very well. Choose, make sure you choose just a few things that are on your plate and work through these things one by one carefully. At this point, you may be feeling overwhelmed, but remember that you can control, you are in control, at least in some areas, of how much you're trying to take on. So with these two cards paired up, just remember that some people may be drawn to you and find you more attractive now. You may have a hard time dealing with all of the attention. You may be overwhelmed. Just enjoy it, okay, and not take it too serious. Now let's move on to the present. Okay, so in the present, we start with the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups speaks of balanced male and female energy. The King of Cups holds all positive qualities of both masculine and feminine. Often, this card indicates a literal man, man in your life. Usually, when he represents a live person, he refers to a very kind and loving man who generally has hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but this could go either way. Know that you are supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. When this card appears, in general the King of Cups represent kindness and compassion. There is an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation, when this card appears. Nurture yourself now and allow others to nurture you when you receive this card in a reading. Now this card is paired with the Knight of Cups. Okay, the Knight of Cups, most likely, if not all of the Cups, is a very optimistic, good card to see in a reading. Like all nights, this one often comes bearing messages though. Usually these are the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. In general, the Nine of Cups would tell you that things are going to be going very well. You are likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. This card often means that Good news, particularly in the realm of matters of the heart, is likely to be headed your way very soon. Okay, and this card is paired with the Ace of... No, actually, we've already paired this cup with the Knight of Cups. And that's in your present. We just read the present, okay? And just to go over what those cards basically are saying is since the king of cups represent pure and true love and it's 
clarified by the Nine of Cups, it's the kind of love we all want to receive. It may come to you by way of message, text, or letter. Okay, now those two cards were, they are the present. And now we'll move on to the challenge, which starts with the Eight of Cups. Okay, the Eight of, it starts with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a very positive card. Okay, now it's a positive omen relating to love, happiness, and affection. Like all Aces, though, it, it's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of life. Things are looking up. In general, people will, re, will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill, more than usually in the near future. You should be feeling good about life in general now. This is a great time to make friends. Now, this Ace of Cups is paired with the Nine of Cups. Okay, now the Nine of Cups is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive. Known as, it's known as a wish card, okay? It can mean that what you are hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time, generally two. The appearance of this card is usually a portent of happiness and good things about to come. It also usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. If, ask, if asking a yes, no type of question, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. But like anything else in the tarot, that is not carved in stone. So with these two cups paired together, they're two very positive cards. You'll be enjoying love and happiness and affection. And what you are hoping for or dreaming is most likely to be yours. So that's your challenge. And the challenge is that it's not carved in stone, so if it comes, if it should come your way, just enjoy it. Okay, now we move on to the outcome. The outcome is the Eight of Wands. Okay, now the Eight of Wands is a lot of things may be up in the air for you when the Eight of Wands appear. You may be frustrated, tired of waiting. This card is an indicator to be patient a while longer. You may have already done all you can do, and decisions now must be made by other people. When this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things, as this is likely to backfire on you. Speaking metaphorically, sometimes our actions are all in the wrist. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You've put your best out there, now wait. And this card is paired with the Page of Wands. Okay, Page of Wands are warm people, ambitious, and usually high achievers. If not a literal person, the Page of Wands indicates the energy of ease distraction. Try to stay focused. In general, this card indicates that you started some time ago, or whatever you started some time ago, are starting to come to fruition. It can also show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. The page brings us positive energy. We must supply the follow-through, however, So with these two cards paired, you may be tired of waiting for things to happen, but with the Page of Wands, this lets you know that things are starting to happen, new adventures, new approaches, and new ideas. And that was your outcome. Okay, Taurus, I hope you have a great month, and thank you so much for watching.